Hello. This video will cover how to do key sheets according to the latest F. procedures using F. Connect. We'll also highlight a few of the differences or what used to be used in the previous Power Geopack and uh, the previous uh, F. series using cells. How those features are now correspond to what is being done now. The first thing we need to do is create a key sheet. So we'll go to the F. tab in Open Roads Modeling, F. tab. once you have a open, ORD open, you'll see this is go about Geopack. This is the latest version of F. Connect with the latest version of uh, Bentley's ORD software. Go to Create File. You'll select the, from Roadway, Roadway Sheet Files. We'll select the Key Sheet, the first one. Make sure you have the proper county that you're working in. In my case, it's Manatee, so the uh, coordinate system is created. And click Create and Open. Once the file is open, then go ahead and close. First thing we need to do is attach the map of our area. If you don't know, if you don't have the map, you don't know where to get it. The DOT has been kind enough to provide uh, the maps for us. One thing that is key to be aware of, when you get into the file, there's functions that take place, and what it does is, in the Home tab field, when you first get into this file, it sets the level, color, weight, and style, so when we do our clipping, the border comes out in a good visible color and it's easy to see. So now we'll go to the uh, F.tab and let's go find our county map. So the OT gives us these F.links. We we'll click on F.link and go to county maps. This opens a web page, which I'll drag over to this page window. And here's all the county maps. They recommend that we use the middle column, which is uh, the smallest file that's in color and sufficient scale. So you'll go find your county, in my case it's Manatee. Here's Manatee and I'll download this Manac file. Okay, I've already done that to save time. So go ahead and close this. I've already done that. You'll just attach it using, go to the Home tab, click uh, your Attached Reference Tool. You, if you don't want to go jumping tabs, just in the Design Plane has the Space key and you'll have options here to click, and this is the same primary tools as all these tools. So go to your, this opens your reference tool, go, let's attach file, and I, I have that, downloaded that file to my right away maps folder. There's the Manacee PDF, highlight it, and I'll go ahead and open it. Very important, when you attach that PDF of your map, make sure your detail scale is set to 1 equals 1, full size. Set it to full size, click OK. This will attach the file. You can do, go ahead and do a fit view so you see it. You know, it takes a second to uh, refresh, you know, fully load. You can, you know, I'm impatient, so I zoom in and zoom out a zillion times until it appears. And there, there it is. And in, in my case, I'm in, uh, we're doing Longboat Key, so it's in this area. Let's see. I'm going to give it a second to, to refresh. Okay, so this is the, uh, the county map that I'm going to use. So now we're actually going to do the clipping. I say clip key sheet because it's using the same tools that we use for doing the uh, clip sheets for plan, our plan and profile. So we'll go over to our drawing production and go to named boundaries. Click on the name boundaries tool and when we did plan we used the, the place name boundary by civil. There's also the by profile here but we want to go to the from drawing boundary so click on that and then we'll the drawing boundaries that are available here are all created by the department and different functions but the ones we're interested in right now are key map layout and key map layout federal. You'll use the federal one if your project has federal funds otherwise go ahead and use the key map layout. Select that. You can give it a name if you wish and a description. Now, this detail scale, remember I, I said it might correspond things that used to be done. Before you had a medium, a small, medium, and large size, 
DOT has equated those to basically the 20, 30, 1 to 30, and 1 to 40 detail scale for detail scales. So I'm going to go ahead and select 1 to 40, and I'll go center the area of my job, which is right here in uh, Long Load Pass. On Long Load Key, I'll go ahead and center that. And I'll data point, which is left mouse click, to accept where I want my block to be. Now, on the Create Drawing dialog, very important, you need to set your seed model, Create Drawing Model Scale to the same one you set here. So I'll go set that to 1 is to 40. This automatically is set to the same. And click OK, so that you can then create your key sheet. Now this is a refresh issue. Right now it looks like it's a blank. This is a DOT has already have a message, you know, a reported an issue to Bentley on this. But just zoom out, zoom in, and your model, your your uh, image will appear. It's just that's a refresh issue. Now key information is already being populated in here. You'll see all this, the the project information, county, state, road. All this information is being retrieved from, I go file close, I look at the properties, which I've mentioned in previous videos. You want to make sure this is all set up. You see it's grabbing all this information, the county number, the project it grabs a lot of this information. So like I say change state road number just from the number I put SR in front of it just for the sake of argument. Click OK and then get back into that key sheet file. And you'll see now it's SR78. We'll go ahead and uh, fit, do a fit view here and save settings so it remembers. And let's go get rid of that, that SR. So just to change anything, you go file close. So if you did forget to set up your preferences, you can come set them up later. But ideally, like I said, when you start the project, all this information should be set up at the beginning. So information like this is populated automatically for you as you progress through the project. And you don't have to do all the changes. Unfortunately, not all the settings in the key sheet are like this. There is some text editing you will have to do. I'll point that out in a moment. We'll get back into a file and you see now in no long, the SR is no longer there. Okay, so now we have several things to, uh, to fill out. Our sheet index, let's say. DOT has provided some nice tools for creating the sheet index and also we have information here. Like I mentioned, some things like this area, this will just simply You'll click on this and edit it. And you'll edit text and add those information. This has not been linked as of yet, so it's not grabbing that information. Hopefully, the DOT will make improvements that that will be, and you won't have to do edits. But for now, this area has to be ed edited. So, um, but we we want to uh, we there are some other things that need to be done, and one thing for is. We want to go ahead and place our sheet index. Okay, so now to do our sheet index, we're going to use the go back to the F dot tab, and DOT still provides the link data manager. So you click on it here. You could also right click and click. The DOT has done a lot of things with right clicking onto the screen, and we're going to create our a new data link, and we'll go ahead and create a new. Uh, a new sheet from t template from the template. So click on this. It'll be a text note, and we'll do a sheet index from roadway. Click OK, and we'll, the, we'll just keep the default name. We'll go ahead and keep, place it in our roadway folder. Hit save, and leave everything default and click OK and we will now have it tied to our cursor. So zoom in and this there's no data point yet. The DOT is planning on making 
data point. Right now, you just sort of eyeball it and place it in your design file. Okay. Now, obviously, you can do make any changes to this file. The, you don't want to change numbering or any of that. All you do is uh, go ahead and exit out. Uh, you know, not ex you, you don't have to exit out. You just open that file. Open this text file. Edit it. Say we don't need. Uh, there's certain things you don't need in here. You just go ahead and modify it. You know, I, I remove these areas. Just delete them. Save the file. And then when you refresh, you get back into this file. It'll refresh. You see, it's, it cleaned that information out. So, so now that we've placed our key sheet, we can go put a few other features. Now, um, say like the uh, component for contract pants, like I said, DOTs enhance the right click function on the design plane. So when you right click on your design plane, you have a bunch of features now. Like the link data manager, I can get it here instead of from the, the actions menu above. I can also place my range, range map label, my township map label, and my component list. So I click on component list, and I will I now have the cell attached to my... Uh, Cursor and DOTs for for simplicity's sake has set this point here as our as the um, snap point data point. Just accept it, then reset, and then we have our it's properly aligned. That's the same thing they're going to do here. They're going to put it most likely to the same point so that it uh, the um, index is placed. As, you don't have to eyeball the index. Now this is being a cell. You just Edit it with like any uh, any cell. Edit it and change the, the text, just like you would change the text for down here for the uh, EOR and and uh, you know certificate authorization and the, and the license number and all that information. Um, so let's good. So go ahead and put um, our range and township markers. So again, you right click, say range map label. And I run, my range is right around here, so I can go place one here. And I'll go place the one on the, the bottom side. Reset, and I'll again right click and go township. And the township markers roughly in this area, if I remember correctly. And I'll place on the other side as well. Obviously, the the uh, values aren't aren't necessarily correct. You have to go and edit those, but those are the same. Like any text, you just edit the text and put in the right right values. The last thing I want to show is how to place the beginning end cells for our product, the arrows and the, the custom arrows that the DOT provides. Now, so you go back to Drawing Production tab, and remember, the Place Labels tab is for getting intelligent information, say, like off the alignment, where you will actually read where the beginning station is or read a, a station offset and that stuff. This is just a, you're going to use the Place Note field here, because this is not an intelligent alignment, this is just a picture. So you use the Place Note, and DOT has already created some... Uh, styles some cell styles and we want to use it place it with the leader so we'll use select the one place with leader and we'll go ahead and select the uh, f dot begin project and for this you select a text style you can go ahead and select say f dot um, medium and we'll say um, begin station Return and we'll give it put the station value on plus sixty. And our begin station is roughly right around here. Okay, 
that is definitely too big. What if that's small? At a point, place it and reset once you've placed it. And then you have the uh, leader. You can change the symbology if, if white doesn't, because of the background doesn't go good, you can always change the, uh, replace the custom color of that. And if you want to put it at the end one, you simply do the same thing. You go to the place label, select uh, F dot end project, automatic. And start the Terminator. You can say end project station, and that's 172 plus 00. zero. That's roughly around here. And then places it with the end label. Yep. Reset the end. Your, you know, obviously, I define you can make you can make changes to any of this. Begin project station. So that's how you change the symbology. And with that, that's the end of the uh, of how to do key sheets. Oh, well, one last thing. Come over to the Explorer. I'm going to open it so it's always out. You want to come over to your the roadway tab. I'm going to come over and, and open it for editing. And you'll see there's there's no nothing in the roadway model, but then come over here and you want to take the current model we're in and drop it into the roadway. In doing that, we now have this information populates. And it also automatically changes our numbering. Fiscal year and construction number, you'll have to go and those are just edit. edit. That does not uh, self populate. But the sheet number will automatically populate because now you are setting this sheet as part of the project. So now, then once you finish that, go ahead and close, you know, save, save these changes. So uh, to set it to no longer edit. You know, you'll see here in the dialog here, make sheet index read only again. And that, and that is saved. With that, I conclude uh, how to do how to create key sheets. Thank you very much.